The Belgian reporter and his trusty sidekick Snowy have been jumping off trains, swimming with sharks and flying rockets into space for 88 years now. But the slick animated adventure we see today took time to perfect. The daring duo began as a crude black and white series of drawings named Tintin in the Land of the Soviets. The debut edition sees the pair escaping from a train in Berlin after a bomb explodes and then being captured by Soviet soldiers. The comic strip was drawn by Jorgis Remy under the pen name Herge. While some of his other works were released in black and white, this was the only one of 24 never to be recreated in color until now. Some say it could have been because he was embarrassed by it. But fans who gathered in Brussels at the weekend say he has nothing to be ashamed of. I was very happy with it when it was still in black and white, but after all, why not? You have to move with the times. It's the only album that was not in colour, so maybe it's a good thing. To me, Tintin represents my youth, some adventures. It's a collection, a passion, it's Belgium. It's a part of my life, actually. The decision to recreate the cartoon in colour happened several years ago, but it took artistic director Michel Barrault around three years to get it just right. And he has quite the legacy to live up to, given that the book has sold more than 230 million copies worldwide and been translated into 77 languages, including Farsi, Indonesian and Malay. Publishers say that despite a drive towards electronic books, the paperback version of Tintin's comics show no sign of losing their colourful charm. Vanessa Keneally, TRT World.